heading up to Carlsbad now where city leaders are addressing concerns there over Windsor Point. That is a community that was built to help provide veterans and others living there with low income housing. But with it has come a whole set of other issues. Our Jamie Chambers is joining us live from the North County with the changes city leaders plan to make. Jamie. Good evening, Kathleen. Yeah, this has been a major issue for residents here at Windsor Point. People are saying that the crime's up. So many calls from paramedics, from police, from fire department going to one specific shelter. Well, actually, just the, the complex that is a beautiful complex that they built out. $8.3 million spent from the city. $10 million spent from private uh, sector to get this area built, but from the mayor, from the police chief, from the city council members, and specifically from the residents, not a single one of them thinks it's working the way it should be. Windsor Point, it's about crime, not housing. You would be hard pressed to find someone who would say that the long term mentally ill housing option for formerly homeless known as Windsor Point has been a success. There are people there struggling with drug addictions who have drug dealers in the facility. The beautifully built just over two year old complex was sold to the Carlsbad residents as a solution to homelessness, providing extremely low income subsidized housing, prioritizing veterans, but that's not what residents say they are dealing with. Those dealing with substance abuse and what we now know and have long suspected individuals recently re released from institutions, jails and or prisons. Since Windsor Point's opening, there have been over 762 calls for police, firefighters and mental health service professionals and residents say the crime is off the charts. Battery, robberies, theft, it's horrible. And while there is a cost to closing the facility, even the mayor who voted for Windsor Point's development is now scrutinizing the project. How much money worth of manpower in our police department have we spent at uh, Windsor Point? Now the county is stepping up their efforts in funding new security measures, but the plan that was called for a year ago will be at least three months out before they talk about making this area safer. Meanwhile, residents say the daily chaos continues. And now we, we literally have police and fire department coming there once daily, sometimes twice daily. And the city proposed change would be having a guard there seven days a week for 12 hours over the evening hours to make sure that they're checking everyone in who's coming in in the evening and making sure they know who's in their complex at Windsor Point. That would start in about 90 days. That's the very latest from Carlsbad. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right.